I'm given a starting point, and I want to use this to make a two-point perspective uh, rectangular box. So the easiest thing to do is to come up here and draw a vertical line first. Try to make sure that ruler is perpendicular to the page. I'm going to draw a line um, about an inch and a half. All right. So you can follow along at home and try this if you want. But there's my first uh, drawing. Now, from that point, I have a choice. Every point has a choice. Vertical or width or depth. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw very faint lines. Okay. These are just vanishing point lines. They're not necessarily part of my object. I'm going to use my pencil as a pivot point. I'm going to go back over here. Pencil as a pivot point. All right. So I've established the vertical edge and I've established my width and my depth. All right. Now, here's the fun part. You can decide what you want to make. I'm going to make a rectangular prism here. So I'm going to make Mr. this. Kaiser, yes, Mr. Kaiser. Sure. Sorry to interrupt. Are you, are, are you presenting because you got the camera? Uh, are you not? Oh, presenting screen. Okay, hold on here. Let's go back to. Otherwise, it's really small. Gotcha. Let's go back and fix that. Um, how does that? How does that look? Is that full size? Yeah, that's better. Perfect. All right, sorry about that. So, again, we've got a vertical line. I started at the starting point and went straight up. And then from that new point, I went to vanishing point one, vanishing point two, the initial point, vanishing point one, vanishing point two, right? All right. The nice thing, I can pick anywhere I want. I'm doing a rectangular prism. I'm going to pick a point right there. There's no rule for this. But... Once you've made the point, you got to follow the three rules. So from this point, depth line, vanishing point, width line, vanishing point, height line, vertical. I'm going to do my vertical line first. And I only need to go until it touches that line right there. And I can stop. But I got a new point. Got to follow the rules. Well, vertical is done. Depth is done. Let's do width. All right. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I can come back wherever I want. I'm gonna pick a point way back here and follow the rules. Well, width line is done. Height line is not. Let's do a vertical line. All right. I got a new point. Width line is done. Depth line is not. Let's connect those. Now in this case, I am running out of ruler length. I'm going to have to estimate this a little bit. All right. New point. Now, this point is actually the back side of the box. So in theory, I've got my two point perspective box. Let's go ahead and trace that out so we can see what it looks like. I'm going to hit up all these lines. Everything is in place. Now, you wouldn't necessarily have to do this next step, but I'm going to do it for you anyway, just to kind of show you what it looks like. But that would be completed for a two-point perspective of a rectangular prism. All right. Now, just to show you where things are at, if I were to put a kind of a faint dotted line back here, I can begin to show you what this would look like if it was a glass box. All 
That didn't meet up perfectly, but it's pretty close. So you can see what this looks like kind of if you could see through the object. All right. So that's our basic two-point perspective sketch of a rectangular prism. All right, let me just uh, go back to here.